Creating and analyzing response surfaces is greatly facilitated by the proper choice of an experimental design. In this section, we are going to discuss some aspects of selecting appropriate designs for fitting response surfaces. First, a good design has to provide a reasonable distribution of data points of information throughout the region of interest. A suitable distribution means that the experimental points must not be concentrated in a particular area of the experimental space, but they have to be distributed all over the region of interest. Another essential characteristic is that the model should allow testing the model's lack of fit, which is usually done using replicates. We can have replicates in each treatment, or only in some specific treatments as the central point. A third important feature is that a good design has to allow runs to be performed in blocks. For instance, central composite designs can be split into one block with the factorial points plus some central points, and a second block composed of the actual points and another set of central points. Moreover, the factorial points usually can also be split into blocks. This same feature usually allows higher order in designs to be built sequentially. For example, we can start by running a twin the power of k design with central points that will give us a linear model and the testing of the lack of fit, and if it is necessary, we can run a second block with the actual points and central points and then build the second order model. A good design must also provide an internal estimate of the error, which can be done by using replicates, using high order interactions, or the combination of both. Another important characteristic is the number of runs. The experimental design should not require a large number of runs. The higher the number of runs, the larger the time and resources consumed by the experiment. However, an inadequate low number of runs can hinder the analysis by aliasing factors and interactions and making it difficult for a reliable estimation of the error. We need at least one independent experimental condition for each regression parameter and around a minimum of 5 degrees of freedom to estimate the error. A central composite design with two factors has nine experimental conditions and six regression parameters. This way, the number of experimental conditions is slightly higher than the number of regression parameters, providing a reasonable robustness against outliers or missing values. Outliers are results we are not confident about and decide to discard. If the number of experimental conditions is higher than the regression parameters, even with missing results, we can still estimate the parameters of the second-order model. And finally, it is desirable that experimental design does not require many levels of the independent variables. For a second-order model, the design needs at least three levels of each independent variable. The most usual designs have three to five levels of each design factor. Music